couch Dogs need the lesson Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome back to yet another awesome lesson right here on Lickin' Riff in which I'll show you one of the most versatile chords I've ever come across. And by versatile, I mean that by using one shape and one shape only, you can play six different chords, okay? Um, by only moving around the bass note. Now, I've already made a few lessons on this with the D chord, with the D and D minor scales on the bass, and with this, uh, with this interesting shape, but this one takes the cake, really, if there is cake. sound so many colors out of the same chord so it's a little bit different than the D chord with uh, the whole the whole D scale on the bass notes and it's very different okay with this which is uh, sort of a bass solo this is actually changing the whole chord the whole sound by just moving the bass note so um, it's a B minor chord okay chord shape it's not a B minor chord it's B minor with the open E string and the open G string. Okay, so you let go of the bar from the E string and you let go of the fourth finger of the little finger of the pinky. Okay, so when you play it as a B minor chord, you get a B minor six at 11, okay? But this is not really what it is. It's E, uh, it's E minor seven at nine. That's what the chord is. It's E minor seven add nine. Okay, because you have the minor seven. Okay, it's an E minor with the seventh with the add nine. Okay, so you have this beautiful expression. This is E minor seven add nine. If you take the finger from B to C to three on the fifth string, you get a C add nine. with a modal sort of sound, okay? Because you have the sharp 11, okay, here, so. But it's still C at nine, okay? So by changing one note, okay, you get a C at nine. If you play the D note, five on the fifth string, you get a D chord. Okay, you get a D, uh, D6 at nine. No, not six, sorry. D, D at 11 at nine. D at nine at 11. Okay. You, just, you, just, you have the 11 on the low one, but okay, it's D at nine at 11 just by using five on the D string. If you have G, you have G major seven. How beautiful is that? If you add the E string, you have G six major seven or G major seven at 13. But what I suggest to make the best out of this is to not play all the notes all the time. Okay, play the E string very, very sparingly. Okay, just play the E string every now and then. You don't have to play it. Okay, so let's test this out. Thank you. 
as well because then it's B minor six over F sharp. It's not a very strong sound. It's a very weak note, the F sharp bass here. Uh, and you can play the A bass as well. Okay, but this is D over A. Okay, now if you only play the A bass, the A note here, and three on the second string, then you get an A sus4 sound. But it's still D over A in a, in, in a context sort of way. So you don't really get an A chord there. But you can play the A. Well, you can play the A note for added musical complexity. So this is a wonderful chord. Make the best use of it, but first subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I don't see what you're waiting for. There are hundreds of lessons here. Check the playlist. You'll see hundreds and hundreds of lessons for free for your guitar education. So I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.